Okay guys, this is design number two on my bucket stove made out of clay bricks that I got from Home Depot. I've opened up a little channel here to hopefully let some air come in from the bottom of the fuel, which is sticks and stuff. I've sealed it up a little tighter. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm about to try this and see how this, this design work works. Uh, strangely, my bucket stove I made out of stones and mud in the field actually seemed to work better than this one, but we'll see how this new design okay, works. Okay, I can't quite tell just yet, but it really seems to burn a lot better with that air channel there. So I can get more oxygen down here underneath those sticks, and it burns larger pieces of wood now, which is nice. Um, it's not so troublesome. I don't have to work at it so much. So I'll show you in a few minutes, and we'll see if we can cook some charcoal. Okay, guys, I just went and got a half a pan of water like I tried the other day, and I'm going to see how long it takes to boil that. Um, with that air channel down there, it's a lot easier to use. Um, I don't have to watch it so much, and I can put bigger sticks in. Those might be a little too big, but uh, I'm going to keep it going, and we'll see how long it takes to um, to boil that water. Now, I just loaded it up with a bunch of big sticks, much larger than I had the other day, and notice it, it keeps burning. The other day, it would actually go out. So, got a little smoke coming out as the sticks catch, but we'll see how it goes. Right now I've got a relatively smoke-free burn. It's not completely smoke-free, but this design is actually a lot better than the one the other day. It's a lot easier to manage. I don't have to constantly feed it and stuff, which is really nice. I'm pretty happy with this design. We'll see how it, it works. a couple things I want you to notice. One, I've really got a nice um, horizontal flame going in there. And two, I don't need to break the sticks up into little pieces like I was the other day. I can just simply feed them in which is a lot nicer than what I had. Um, it's a lot easier to manage, a lot easier to cook with. And I've already got bubbles coming out. You probably can't see them. I'd say that's four cups of water. So we'll see the how long nice it takes to boil. This design is the wind doesn't as affect it as much. Um, it doesn't put it out. It doesn't draw a lot of smoke. You can see the wind's blowing the flames around a little bit, but it just keeps on chugging along. So uh, although I didn't have a rocket stove the other day, I think right now I do. I don't have hardly any smoke coming out of there, and I can see the flames just barely touching the bottom of the pot. And this guy is really easy to manage. It's really easy to cook with. So I think this design might be 100% success, but we'll see. Check this out. Even though the flames are right here, it's pulling horizontal into that chamber, which is exactly what you and want. And I've got to boil. Let's see what time it is. 48 minutes. Now, to be fair, 37 minutes into this, I went and got a lid because I decided it wasn't a fair test without a lid. But uh, I've got a nice bowl going there, 48 minutes into this. Which is, uh, going by time, it's about equivalent to, um, to my stone-made rocket stove. But had I had a lid on there, I think it would have boiled that in about half the time. I think in about 25 minutes, I could have had a nice bowl going. Check out the flames. The nice thing about this design also is when the wind blows, it actually helps the stove out. Instead of putting it out, it really makes it burn nice and fast. So, this second design is a 100% success. And there you go. What a rolling boil.